back from the break, everybody. Chris, all right, now we've seen a lot of the big schools, but we have yet to find out how the night goes for our smaller schools who are also fighting for playoff spots. Yeah, exactly. That uh, 3A uh, Division II district is really great quality football. You know, the top two or three teams, and Taft and Odom, the rivals facing off. Odom undefeated in the district. Taft coming in with one loss. We're going to get in the mix and hear the Owls going through the air to Dylan Andrade. Hauling it in, making the sidestep, getting in for the score. Play of the Week nominee, Odom. A couple of those in and the a penalty, too, at the end of that. 8-6, <laughs> Odom down at that point. Taft adding, well, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Justin <laughs> Gobin with the big first down, getting tripped up, but in front of the Blitz camera. Now, big quarterback Oscar Ozuna. Look at this, a Blitz Play of the Week. Hell, this is a Blitz Play of the Year nominee. He's breaking tackles left and right. He's down the sidelines. They're not gonna get him. Hang on for the score. Taft goes up 16 to six as Ozuna here punches it in for the two point conversion. A little Goodness exclamation gracious. point. Gracious, yeah, how about that? That's a big guy to bring down. <laughs> The blitz signs out in Taft tonight are from the Taft fans. We love you guys. But here, Odom answering back. Orlando Gonzalez. Look at him. He will not be denied either. He gone for the score. The pylon. This game had everything. 16-13. Owls still trailed, but not for long because on their next drive, getting the stop, getting the ball back. Give it to the man with the hot hand. Gonzalez punching his way in. Will not be denied. Odom goes up and they go up for good. The Owls get it done, 28-16. They are still unbeaten in the district, heading into week 11. And stick around, Odom fans. This next game, important for you as well. Also looking to stay perfect in the district, the London Pirates. London taking on Santa Rosa tonight. And the Pirates jumped out of the gate early here. They returned the opening kickoff for touchdown. Their next possession, here they come again. Jet sweep. Zach Bullock picking up a first down later in the drive. Pirates at the door and it's the QB keeper. Our reigning three news athlete of the week, Ty Leonard, getting in for the score. So London up 14 zip already. Santa Rosa would answer back though. They march down the field and cap it off with a touchdown from Jose Diaz. 14-7 ball game. Second quarter. Fast forward to Warriors backed up against their end zone. The Pirates smell blood in the water. Brian Garza with a great tackle for loss there. So Santa Rosa has to punt. And the Pirates, well, they just go back to work. Dimitri Sanchez up the middle and he takes it to the house. London goes up 20 to 7. Santa Rosa would make things close in this one, but the Pirates hang on for a 27-20 win, setting up a district championship matchup next week at London. The Pirates hosting the also undefeated Odom Mouse. All right, let's head up to Aransas Pass. The Panthers looking to play spoiler for the Mathis Pirates. Mathis looking to officially sew up its playoff spot here. Map is going through the air. Levi Orsak looking for Darian Rodriguez is incomplete, but there's a flag on the play. Pass interference. So the Pirates then punch it in. Thomas Virial gets it in. This one a very low scoring ball game, but Mathis wins in a defensive slugfest. 12 10 the final. The Pirates heading to the playoffs. All right, let's head on out to Agua Dulce. Agua Dulce hosting Fremont. And start of this game not going as one would hope if you're a Premont Cowboy fan. Here, it's going to be fumbled. Agua Dulce's Ryan Cartinez going to strip it. Oh. And then a little, little yardage after it. Look at him go. Goodness. Nice play. Sets up Agua Dulce nicely after that. They take the ball, and then it's going to be quarterback Aaron Medina. Here's Medina, he's gonna go to Angel Viva. Here, the little screen pass, he takes it in. Agua Dulce takes a seven nothing lead. Get excited. It's a picturesque background too. <laughs> Goodness, I like that. <laughs> That's what those 7 p.m. games will give you. Exactly. <laughs> Later, Medina. This time he's not throwing it, he's running. A little shake and bake. And he's off to the races. Agua, the Longhorns looking good early in this one. He's gonna, Maybe not finish it off fully here. Ran out of gas a little bit. Hey, <laughs> Get him a gas him. He mask. Ran, I was say, how many yards did he tired. run? Tired. Good lord. <laughs> 
So later in the drive, Aguadulce, Longhorns, hey, mascot, he's got plenty to be happy about. Later, they would cap off the drive. It's Cruz Garza will pitch out to him. He takes it to the house. 14-0, Aguadulce right off the bat. The final score on this one, we are still looking to find. It's the fourth quarter right now. Aguadulce up 28-12. So it looks like the Longhorns yeah. will go on to get a big Fremont right. hanging in that ball game, but looks like Aguadulce is going to hang on and stay not only unbeaten, but stay in our blitz rankings as well. They've been in there almost all year long. Pretty much all year long. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously a lot of stuff happened tonight. A lot of these games finding out. And uh, like we were talking about with 15-5, it's just number crunching goes into this because you have teams that will be tied at the bottom, and it really yeah. just comes to point differential. So. Yeah. Exactly. So see how that works out. Now we get an easy one to work out next week. Odom <laughs> and London on yeah. a Thursday night. That's going to determine the district, district championship. championship. So hey, even if you're uh, just a fan of football, it's Thursday, so you can go watch that and then watch your team on Friday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, take a listen to the West Oso marching band. Take a look at your scores.